This week, we're taking a look at eye-opening breakthroughs. Designers at Johns Hopkins have created a bionic arm that works and feels just like a natural limb. It's controlled by the brain. Scott Pelley saw how it works in a report for 60 Minutes. 57-year-old Johnny Mathney lost his arm to cancer. Dr. Albert Chi from Johns Hopkins Hospital found the nerves that used to go to Johnny's hand and move them to healthy muscles in his remaining limb. Now, elbow extension. Sensors on his skin pick up the brain signals from the nerves and use those signals to control the robotic arm. Come here, I want to see you. <laughs> so even though the limb is missing, the brain still sends the signals as if the limb was still there. Correct. Johnny, it feels in, in your mind like your hand is, is there again? Yes. As if, as if your arm had never been lost? Correct. Michael McLaughlin is the lead designer of the bionic arm at Johns Hopkins, and Courtney Moran helps patients use it. Welcome. Thank you. You have brought it with us, with yes. you. Please show us how it works. Yes. So this arm has 26 joints in it, so it can do virtually everything that your natural hand can do. We also have sensors in it, so we can provide feedback. So you actually get the sensation when you touch an object, you can feel it. That, that sensation goes to your brain? That goes to your brain. Wow. How many of those exist? So we have a total of six of these right now. Mm -hmm. So this is a, a research tool for us. Mm -hmm. And how does that work that it's sending signals back to the brain? Mm -hmm. Okay, so if you've had an amputation, mm -hmm. the nerves that used to run, say, to my finger are still there. They're just mm -hmm. now in my arm. So if I stimulate that nerve, the brain still thinks you're, you're stimulating the finger. So the, the patient really perceives it as pressure in the finger my hand, not the prosthetic hand. The other thing I thought was so interesting, you brought this with you, and everybody that walked in the green room jumped when they saw it because it's mm -hmm. got hairs, it's got veins, mm -hmm. it's got the nails. And I can't decide, Mike, if it's creepy or if it's just very cool. Yeah, it depends. We I'm have for very cool. <laughs> <laughs> we actually, I know, but try, look at this, guys. Yeah, where you, where this you've got the hair on the... But you were saying a lot yeah. of people don't want to use this. Yeah, actually, there, there are a number of pe people, particularly some of the, the younger men we work with, yeah. that really think the robotic look is really cool, and mm -hmm. they like it. Courtney, what has the feedback been from patients who have used this? The biggest feedback has been how natural it feels and how quickly it feels natural to them. Mm -hmm. um, it moves so much like the regular arm, even during inadvertent movements. Mm -hmm. um, but what can it do? So, again, it can. It, it takes a while to learn how to do functional tasks because it takes practice. It would be um, like learning to walk again for someone with a stroke. You can do it, but it just takes some thought. However, it's so natural that when they're going to do that, they said that as they're practicing, it's not like practicing with a tr you know, any of the other prosthetics they have because it feels immediately like they're practicing with their own arm instead because you can move, all the fingers move, all the joints move, the, the wrists move, hmm. and um, you know that's a big deal too, being able to get into the body for certain tasks, that's something that they weren't able to control with, with other types of prostheses. Think out loud for us, what's possible? Mm -hmm. What are you dreaming? So ultimately we'd like to be able to play the piano with this. Yeah. So basically I'd like you or whoever needs a prosthetic to be able to go back and just do everything that they used to do before they and lost their limb. How long will we, before we have that well, we reality? Think, so within a couple of years we think we can have the first versions of these out. And the cost and covered by insurance? We hope it'll be covered by insurance uh, for the military patients we work with. Mm -hmm. Of course, the, Department. the Department of Defense will cover that. And if uh, not, how much is it, Mike? Uh, we were estimating somewhere in the fifty to sixty thousand mm -hmm. dollar range. Mm -hmm. And so that's slightly more than a conventional prosthetic. Mm -hmm. That is the range that some mm -hmm. complex lower limb systems get into as well. So it's not outside of the scope of what is out there when you put all the individual components are different, but when you put the whole system together and this is a complete system, you're in that range you with other you things. At some it's point they'll be redesigning the brain. And <laughs> yeah. Yeah. It's fascinating stuff. Thank you for okay. coming. Thank, Thank you, you very much. Mike McLaughlin and Courtney Moran.